I had huge expectations for Myanmar and to be honest, it, it really hit all of them. My girlfriend, Sam, she came out and visited me. Uh, she actually wasn't my girlfriend at the time when she came to visit me. She was a girl who I'd met and we hit it off and we'd stayed in contact with each other and it just became realistic for her to come and spend some time with me. We weren't entirely sure how long it was going to be, but um, you know, at this point she's going to be doing the entire trip with us, so uh, that's pretty exciting for me. And I, I picked her up at the airport, I immediately put her in a, in a sari, which I bought in, in India, just to get her into the, the swing of things. Oh my god, I have to wear this right now. Yes, <laughs> we're getting you into the mood. But I can, I can put on afterwards. Absolutely not. Breaking the constant cycle, deciding to have a see photos of this thing everywhere in, in every travel magazine. Basically, it's the largest golden structure you will probably see in your entire life. It had a very interesting energy, actually. Uh, I felt very at peace there, very calm, very relaxed, very peaceful. This thing is now covered and layered in 60 tons of gold. It's 2,500 years old. And when you go there, you're, just, you're looking at pretty much like Aladdin's treasure. We asked the, t the taxi driver, what if we went and tried to steal the emerald? He said in the most nonchalant manner, you will die. We were only in uh, Yangon for a couple days though. We, we took off and went up to a place called Inlay Lake. <laughs> Mom, we have to at least see it. Stop it. Face me. Alex is peeing in the corner. <laughs> Put the lid on. Did you put the lid on? If you gotta go, you gotta go. So this stuff that's on my face is called Danica. They put it on their skin to uh, reduce freckles to uh, protect from ultraviolet rays. Apparently it's really good for your skin and it keeps it cool. So this has been going on for the longest time. Uh, and it's a pretty cultural thing to do. So we're gonna go around Donna Kind people because uh, it's all about health and safety, right? And we have nothing to do. So let's go. It's gonna keep me looking young. Right? Sam <laughs> looks sexy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, who wants to get Donna Kind? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Super. <laughs> <laughs> we just Delica on the bike. Delica, <laughs> <laughs> That's why she stays young. We found a guy kind of just hanging out who offered us uh, to, to take a boat for us. Uh, we, we convinced him to, to pack, I think, eight people on this boat when usually you're only supposed to put four. Kiss me another find whenever I'm doing these tours is that you kind of end up in areas where a lot of souvenirs and and just knickknacks and just kind of a lot of times crap is trying to be sold to you but what I what was unique about, about Myanmar was that the stuff that they were trying to sell you was actually really really cool. I want it so bad. I want it so bad. The coolest thing about Inlay Lake is it hosts the uh, the Cayenne women so those are the women with the really long necks and the way it works is as children they, they put on a few rings and then through time, they add more and more rings. So the, the elderly women are the ones with the really long necks, and the women in their 20s are, you know, are just kind of starting off. Yeah, we made it up to Bagan. So Bagan is a series of like thousands of these pagodas and these temples. It's just an amazing place if you're into old architecture, if you're into history, if you're into temples, just going into a place that's just kind of magical. You 
You can uh, spend $10 to rent a horse-drawn carriage for the entire day to take you around to these pagodas. Standing on top of a pile of rubble, you don't really notice how dangerous it is until you look up. And directly above us is where the ceiling is collapsing. You can see nobody's actually cleaned up. It's still exactly where it had fallen. This, this could be the death of me. These are a series of caves. They're very, very old caves. We're checking out all these little Buddha relics and they've decorated this one. One hundred. Nibong Dea. 100 Nibong Dea. Okay. I don't know what that means. We found this place on Hostel World called Ostello Bello, and it's really well run. It's just a, it's a brand new, fresh. You have tons of backpackers there. Uh, very kind of open, open and social culture. They have uh, parties there every night, and it was it was a really cool place to be. sidestep him and he was narrowing me down and he just clawed him with my water and now I'm thirsty. And there it is. Try it out, monkey. After began, we headed up to Mandalay. We were only in Mandalay for a very, very short period of time. We had to meet it back up with Natalia who had departed from us for a couple days and then uh, we grabbed her and then we had to fly out that evening but we had enough time to go to this really, really iconic and famous bridge. It's, but it's, uh, it's really old and really iconic. They have these uh, great little shops and markets set up on it and it's a, if you're wanting to interact with the local population, it's a great place to go to it. And on top of that, just a, a cool, cool scenery. Um, but after that, we had to rush out and I really suggest you guys go to Myanmar. I absolutely love it. It's just such a cool and authentic experience. Love you all. We will see you in Laos. Adios. Yeah, yeah.